Hello everybody, my name is Brad Mason. I'm the Pioneer Field Agronomist in Western Illinois. And my name is Natalie Vedrano and I am the Pioneer Territory Manager in Western Illinois. Today we have three main topics, soil temperature, corn emergence, and also hybrid selection. Yep, so I'm gonna kick it off and start talking about if we were to plant corn the next week as uh, this coming Monday is April 19th, what would be some things to think about that may make us want to plant corn or maybe make us want to plant soybeans as soil conditions are improving across the area. So soil temperature is the first thing to talk about. We've always talked about 50 to 55 degrees soil temps for us to start planting corn, but there is a caveat with that. We always talk about a warming trend in the forecast. If we look at the seven and 10 day forecast, there's not a warming trend. There's a lot of 40s, a lot of lows in the 30s and highs in the lower 50s. So what will we expect if we were to put a corn kernel into the ground at that two to two and a half inch depth. If you look at a soil thermometer across the area, you'll see there is a big fluctuation of temperatures across the area. You'll see those two inches may end up at 50, maybe up to 60 at the end of the day if they're a good dark soil and they've absorbed a lot of heat. But you'll also notice in the morning after we come off those lows in the 30s and 40s, some of those soil temps are down in the upper 30s. So when we talk about 24 to 48 hours of that first life of that kernel, we need to make sure that we're giving it the best chance of emergence and not to give it a stressful first drink of water. So when we put that corn kernel in the ground and we get those wide fluctuations of temperatures, we can shock that corn system and maybe cause uneven emergence or possibly leafing out. So when we talk about uneven emergence, that's the second part we wanna talk about, is uneven emergence does affect our yield. We always talk about yield potential you know oh you have 100 percent of your yield potential or this knocks off five percent what's the magic number there is your potential 300 bushels is it 500 you know it, it's really an infinite number it's just where is the starting point and what are we going to knock off and we want to get that potential as high as possible so when we start talking about corn coming up in seven to ten days we roughly say you have 100 percent of your potential there when we start talking about 10 days up to 14 maybe close to 20 days we knock ourselves down to about 95 percent yield potential once we start talking about 21 days and out for a corn emergence to come up, we start looking at 88% of our yield potential there. And we can see a wide fluctuation of that. The last two years we've seen cornfields that look like a wave out there because we've had such uneven emergence. We've had to go back three, four years for us to find a good even emergence year. Those years we've had good heat leading up to our planting window and after our planting window that's helped that corn crop get out of the ground to hopefully provide us the potential for a good yield in the fall. That doesn't mean that you can't raise 200 bushel corn if you plant into a stressful environment. There are people that do it every year, but we need to make sure we're maximizing every potential because you can only plant once, hopefully. So we need to make sure we're doing our best things and monitoring the soil temperature. And Natalie's gonna talk about picking the right products if we do decide to roll the dice and plant corn. As far as hybrid selection goes, that's one of the most important decisions of the season. So when we're looking at what hybrid to put in the ground at this point in the year with these temperatures that we've had, we really wanna make sure that we're picking hybrids that have good stress emergence scores. So we want hybrids that are at sixes or sevens, really trying to make sure that they have strong scores so that they're able to tolerate that stress well. Thanks, Natalie. And as always, everybody, make sure you're reaching out to your Pioneer representative to have a conversation about those stress scores and, and to get a better local idea of what, they, what you should be doing, whether it's planting corn into these stressful environments or not. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and have a safe planting season. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.